All right, here's something that we haven't discussed uh, uh, explicitly, but it says determine the points, if any, at which the graph of the function has a horizontal tangent line. Okay, now let's think of what that means. First of all, horizontal means it has a slope of zero. Tangent line refers to the derivative. In other words, when is the derivative zero? So if we want to know uh, the slope of the tangent line, is horizontal. The derivative, y prime, is the slope of the tangent line. It's horizontal, so that means y prime is equal to zero. All right, so now our first things first, we just got to find y prime. So if y is this, y prime is equal to 3x squared plus the derivative of x is 1. So now the question is, when is this true? In other words, when is 0 equal to 3x squared plus 1? Okay. Well, this happens when we have negative 1 is equal to 3x squared or negative 1 third is equal to x squared or, wow, this kind of is interesting, uh, plus or minus the square root of negative 1 third is equal to x, which is really uh, plus or minus square root of 1 third i equals x. Okay, this means that there's no real solutions. Since there's no real solutions, the slope of this particular thing, or the, the tangent line, there are no points in which that tangent line is zero or is horizontal. And so this thing is always kind of slooping up a bit. All right, let's move on to the next section that we haven't really talked about. All right, let's go ahead and continue on with this next section. Uh, number 63. Let's take a look at one of these here. Okay, we have this function f of x is equal to x squared minus kx, where we don't know k. And we want to find k such that uh, y minus, or I'm sorry, y is equal to 4x minus 9 is tangent is the tangent line to that function, okay? So, first things first, we know that this line is tangent to the function, which means we know the slope, okay? Now, the derivative is the slope. And so if we take the derivative of f of x, which is 2x, now k is a constant here, so the derivative of constant times x is just the constant. And so we know that the, the derivative is 2x minus k, and that must be the slope, okay? So from that, we can take that y is equal to 2x minus k times x minus 9. All right, so now, again, talking about the tangent, it's touching in one spot. In that case, when it touches, the coordinates are the same, which means the y-coordinate is the same as the y-coordinate. The y-coordinate of this is that, and so it's x squared minus kx. The y-coordinate of the other is this. So that those have to be the same. So this is 2, uh, distributing this x, we have 2x squared minus kx minus 9. Okay, so our purpose is, what is the, what is, what is the x-coordinate? If we can find that, now I can go back in and I can solve for k because, well, let's look here. Okay, so now, when I do this, negative kx, negative kx cancel out when you add to both sides. And so I get x squared is equal to 2x squared minus 9. Solving, I'm going to move the 9 over and I'm going to move the x squared over. And so this gives me 9 is equal to x squared. Now, when I solve for this, that means that 
x is equal to plus or minus 3. Okay. All right. So now that I have my x, I can go back and find my k. I know that my slope, my derivative, 2x minus k, is the same as the slope of the tangent line. Solving for k, I know that 2x minus 4 is equal to k. But I already know x, don't I? It's right here. So, solution number 1. 2 times positive 3 minus 4 is equal to k. So that gives you 6 minus 4, which is 2. Solution number 2. 2 times negative 3 minus 4 is equal to k, which is 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, minus 4 is negative 10. Two solutions. There they are. Don't forget the derivative is the slope is the slope of the tangent line it is that was part of the key the other part was when the two functions touch at the tangent point or the point of tangency then the y coordinates have to be the same which means the functions effectively have to be the same the function values do that's how i was able to get this down into okay now what are the x values Try that technique with number 65.